Hey, Princess Beauty and Princess. I have our special friend here today, and her name is Peace. She is so geek and so am I. Today we're going to be speaking about ways that you can fundraise. Fundraising is something that is done to help you make money. The reason why it's important to make money while you're younger is so when you get older, you do not have the stresses in life. You do not have all of these different things weighing you down. When you're younger, money may be the last thing or the first thing that you may do. If you can save money now, you can save money now. Fundraising is super fun and that's why F-U-N is at the beginning. It's fun to do. You get to interact with different people. You get to go different places. And like I said, you get to take care of yourself while you're a child and when you're older. I was a child before. I know everybody probably heard their parents say that, but I was a child before and I was young and now I'm older. And that's what they that's what they say all the time in the Bible. One day you will get older and when you get older, you do not want life to be hard on you because of some money. Like it's crazy. So when we're younger, we get dollars here and 50 cent here. It's no comparison, but when you're a child, your chances are higher of someone you know, just giving you five or ten dollars here. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. You know, here's five dollars for her. Buy her some candy. And so today I want to speak to you about fundraising and keeping your money and saving your money. So that way, even as a child, if you want something, you can go ahead and buy it for yourself. Fundraising and having your own money as a child, it also does help to take the stress off your parent. You know, parents work so hard trying to make sure that everything is taken care of. They're, you know, paying bills. They're working two and three jobs. And if the child has a way of income now, then hey, why not? So I want to speak to you about a company called Popping Popcorn. Um, a little backstory, I started this fundraising for someone in my family and absolutely adored it. It was so fun to do. So I was scrolling on Facebook one day and I seen this business and it said Popping Popcorn. I don't even think I looked through the comments or anything. Be sure when you are doing anything that you find on the internet that you give that information to your parent first so they can do their research. And so I did my research, but it wasn't on the internet. So I went directly to the link and I said, hey, this is a legit business. Um, I can't recall how long that they have been in business, but I will leave that information down below. I actually did business with this company as well. So I'm your reference. So I contacted the business and I spoke with a young man. His name was David. I still remember his name. It's been about five years. And, you know, I let him know, hey, I seen that you offer fundraising. It's free. It's like drop shipping. So I don't have to, you know, order this popcorn individually. And I spoke with David all the time and he was like, we are a legit company. I checked with him. I was like, I found you on the internet and I wanted to make sure you were legit. He was like, we are legit. We do send you free samples. So I got a free sample and I let David know this popcorn is absolutely delicious. I mean, they have up to 50 or more flavors at this time. And it's not the popcorn that's in the microwave. We know when we use the microwave, that's a lot of radiation. We have too much radiation as it is. And as a child, I would say we need to cut the radiation when you get older. It, actually, it takes a, a worse effect on you when you're younger and you have a lot of radiation. Like in our generation, because I'm still in your generation, <laughs> children are on the cell phones. They're doing all of these things. And so, you know, children, I see children looking at the phone like this. They're like this. And that is absolutely too much radiation. What radiation does to the body is it kills the brain cells. So you're not able to think logically at all on top of not eating properly, going to school and, you know, the different things that go on through life, things are going on at home. So if we can start piece by piece, we can start piece by piece. Let's start with our, we'll get, we'll talk about that later about the cell phones because I got y'all princess beauties and princes because we ain't doing that. But let's talk about, you know, how you can 
save yourself from eating like radiated foods. This popcorn is not made in a lab. Now I'm sure it's some type of process to where they get big batches at a time, but this popcorn is so delicious. And I love the logo. I absolutely love the packaging. The packaging is phenomenal. It looks so beautiful online and person and not just the packaging but the quality of the popcorn it's one thing to have good packaging but it's another thing to have actually the product the quality is phenomenal so I got my sample popcorns and I ate every last bag I think when I started back the bags were about um this big and I think I had got like a sample of I think I got like 10 samples. Like I said, it's been a few years since I've done it. They may have some updates to their website, but this is where you take this information to your parents or you watching this video as a parent. This is where you do your extended research and you click that link and you say, hey, let me go ahead and look and see what kind of free samples I can get. Um, like I said, if any information has changed, then this is another reason why you have to go over and do that extended research for yourself because I have not fundraised in a while. So after I got my samples, I seen everything was delicious communication is key when you're doing business I absolutely adore how David always written back to my emails he left me voice messages just an absolute sweetheart and I said is it true peace is it true it is absolutely true you get 50% of your profit it's one thing to start a business and you have to invest in everything because that's what starting a business is. Say we started a teddy bear business. I have to buy all of the teddy bears, all of the packaging. I have to do all of this work myself. And it's no problem with that. Entrepreneurship is great. But if you have a way of you just simply um, promoting this and then it's getting out to people, that takes so much work off of you. So I got that he sent me all of the different brochures and I already knew the popcorn was sitting on that so I can already speak on behalf of the popcorn. And I just went and I started telling people, hey, I'm selling this popcorn on the behalf of a child and I would love to do, I had you, you want a reason behind things. You know, you can do stuff without a reason. As for us, I feel like we should have a reason to do anything. Having a reason to do something is having wisdom. You have a purpose behind it. Anything you want to do, you want to have a purpose behind it. And I'm not going to say your chances are better, but it is wise to have a purpose behind it. So I was letting people know, hey, I'm selling this popcorn for a family member. And this family member will be I will be giving this money off to this child and later on in life when this child gets 18 I'm going to be giving her all of the money that I make because she's younger and um you know putting that in a bank account for her that way when she turned 18 she can buy a car that way when she turned 18 she can get her own place it's just a head start it gives you a head start like I said versus the parent you pen, car notes, house notes, whatever, still trying to catch up from when you were a child. And then now the child is getting older. When you get older, you just feel like parents get a lot of pressure on them because they feel like, oh my God, I got to live up to this expectation of my child wanted this notebook and all of this stuff. And I just feel like if you're getting the dollar or two, then it is better to keep that right now. I think this information could come from a parent's perspective and your parent could tell you these things. But I think sometimes we understand it differently when someone else is telling you. So Alexis Love is telling you, somebody give you 50 cents, somebody give you a dollar, somebody give you a quarter, somebody give you 10 nickels. Hold on to all of that. Popping popcorn is an amazing business. Um, I absolutely love it, absolutely adore it. Like I said, communication is key. If you can get with someone that's doing business and they can communicate with you, that is a good sign, right? So, got this popcorn and I wrote a skit and I memorized it. It wasn't like something that was just made up. It came to me naturally and I began to say it over and over and over again. I have this, um, I forgot exactly what I was saying, but hi, would you like to buy some popcorn? My name is Alexis. I'm selling the popcorn on behalf of a family member. So when she gets 18, she can go off to college or do whatever it is that she would like to do as a young adult. And people was like, oh my God, I think that's such a good thing of you to do because it is, it is a good thing of you to do on the behalf of yourself or on the behalf of someone else. And definitely on the behalf of your child. Like I said, it is fun. Fundraising popcorn gives you the opportunity to meet different people. You'll build relationships. You'll have returning customers. 
And I have never seen a fundraiser that gives you 50% profit. I haven't seen it. If you've seen it, leave it down below in the comment section. I haven't seen somebody that's giving you 50%. You might get like 10%. 50% profit is amazing if the popcorn is five dollars you get 250 that is an even split for a company to do to give you 50 percent of their profit you're not making the popcorn you're not bagging the popcorn you're not doing anything literally when people put their orders in yeah what can i give you um you know i want that cookies and cream you want the cookies and cream how many can i get uh let me get five of them okay five cookies and creams that's gonna be 130 dollars. no problem here you go you get that 130 dollars what you're gonna do is, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna order the five cookies and creams. They're gonna send the popcorn to your house and it's still humanly interaction. Instead of us always doing stuff digitally, we have to get back into the world and love on each other. Hey, how you doing, Miss Shirley? Awesome, I just wanted to let you know, I have your five bags of cookies and cream. They have came in today. When's the perfect time we can meet this week? Meet up with the people. People were so, oh my God, this looks so beautiful. And I, so many good reviews came back about the popcorn not looking beautiful, but actually tasting beautiful. Princess Beauties and Princess, Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Man. This is something that I think is a great idea to do for children, whether you're doing it on the behalf of this child. Say you just had a child. This baby just got born into the world. Go ahead and fundraise that popcorn. Hey, you know, I just had a child and I would like to just fundraise. I think it'll take some stress off of me, you know, um, and it'll just help me to buy diapers or whatever it may be. This is not one of those businesses to where you have to spend a hundred dollars first and then they send you the product. Like I said, you can get you some free popcorn, eat the popcorn up, and then the only time you're ordering some popcorn is when somebody is putting the order in. You're going to get your profit back flat out they had different ways of payment and it was just phenomenal i've got paid every single time that an order was pinned and i absolutely love it so fundraising popcorn would be a great way when you're at and there's so many different ways to and different times to fundraise when you're at school it's about to be the summertime um you know when you go to the beach just different ways and different things like that this is not something that a child should do alone like i said it is that interaction so i know sometimes parents get busy and they're doing this and doing that when you're helping your child learn ways how to make money that's your quality time that's your interaction time don't just give this child this popcorn brochure and be like go out there and hustle because we know in reality that's not what we wanted to do we didn't want to just go out there and hustle but we did it because maybe we had a child at a young age and you know maybe that wisdom didn't pass down generation to generation that's not what we want to keep spreading we want to say okay I worked all hard this week to take care of these bills for us so we can have somewhere to live. But I know I understand quality time. It's not all about money. We do not want those children to grow up and they out here stressing about money that we could have helped them make just by spending time with them. It is a great look. It's a great opportunity and you'll be blessed for it because you're teaching that child wisdom. It's not no quick hustle, no side hustle. It's responsibility. We know the Lord says all the time, train a child up in the way they should go in the name of Jesus. You teach them what the Lord says, and then in all of their ways, they shall never depart from him. That is wisdom. You're giving your child that wisdom, and that way they know, I got to get this wisdom from God. They'll never depart from wisdom. They'll never have to do wild things to get money or feel like they have to be responsible for things. They know my mom taught me this when I was a child to fundraise, so here I am. Princess Beauties and Princess Alexis loves you. I want you, if you see this video and you're a child, give this information to your parent. Let your parent do that. Um, you know, don't go off all to the side trying to call no companies or do anything like that. Do it as you would with respect. Hey, mom, I came across this video. I would like to sell popcorn. I feel like it'd be a good idea. And, you know, your parents say, hey, I don't got time for that. Ask another family member. Hey, you know, my mom says she'd be busy a lot. Can you help me? And don't get discouraged again parents do have a lot of responsibilities you are their responsibility but if it can't happen now don't give up on it it can happen later parents alexis love beauties and flawless men if you are a parent watching this video 
take time take time make time we see how this generation is going and we see the reason why everybody is doing what they're doing and everybody is you know some people it's all these mental illnesses that's popping up being created all of this lack of love and all these things is because Hey, we grew up like that, you know, maybe we didn't have both parents in the household and all these other things and all everybody was doing was working, 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 getting this money. I just got to pay these bills, pay these bills. And there was no time to spend time with that child. We want to begin to, even if it's a day or two, the child is never home. The child is at school, daycare, then they got to go to bed at nine o'clock. Then it's only dinner time. Let's go ahead and add something else into this relationship. Let's go ahead and teach these children some wisdom so they don't have to figure this out when they're about to be 30, when they're about to be 40. We are responsible for the next generation. We are responsible for them. And if you already have children, then yeah, even if you don't have children, we're still responsible to do something, whether that's a prayer, whether that's something. Let's go ahead, pray and apply. Let's go ahead, make time. And I'm just going to say this because, you know, parents, they be feeling like they be doing a lot and they'll still make time to turn up on a weekend. They'll still make time to do this, to do make time for the child, make time for the invest in the child's financial stability. We need financial stability to live. We see how having money or a lack of money or none at all is causing us problems. So we do not want that for our children. We do not want that for our children. We don't want them doing nothing wild just to get $100, $200 and no stuff like that. Let's go ahead and invest in something that is safe, that is confident, that is um, it's well known. Something that people love. People love popcorn. I'm telling you, that cookies and cream, it's so unique. It's so different. It's not just the regular bland popcorn. This popcorn is delicioso. This popcorn is just amazing. Alexis loves you. Go ahead. I will leave the link in the video down below just to, you know, just to put the information out there. And I also want you to do your research. Get in contact with the recruiter. Ask some people, hey, you know, I'll send the video and I was just wondering if y'all still send out the free popcorn samples. You don't eat a lot of popcorn. Sit with the child. You have to get the child's opinion as well. Children know how to speak. If a child is watching this video, you're old enough to watch this video, you're old enough to speak as well. So you're eating that popcorn, you're sampling that popcorn, somebody gonna ask you, hey, you're selling popcorn? This popcorn is so good. You have to experiment as well. When you do something, you have to do your extended research to make sure, man, this is a scam. My, no, you have to make sure that it is delicious. You have to make sure that it does look correct. So you and your child, enjoy that popcorn, sit down, make a list like, so which one was your favorite one? Okay, cool, cool. And then treat that child. Treat that child for working hard. So you have made $5,000 this month off of popcorn. I am so proud of you, your enthusiasm, and just the way that you've been, you know, talking and being respectful when you talk to people. So, hey, you know what I'm going to do? What popcorn would you like to buy? I'm going to buy you some popcorn. Put the money up into a savings. Don't let the child just have the money doing, getting all of this stuff. But treat the child every now and again. You make $5,000 $5, in a month off popcorn. Give that child like $300 to $500 if they want to buy something. Still take care of them. But their money, let me say this. Their money is not your money. Them fundraising this and you doing it on their behalf because you, you should, right? Because they need someone over them. Is not your money. That child make the five thousand dollars in that month. That don't mean you take two bands and pay your debt. That don't mean you take two bands and pay the rent because we were short on the rent. That means you do what you're doing as an adult. If you want to sell popcorn for yourself, you sell popcorn for yourself. But that means when that child make that five thousand, that's their five thousand. Put that up in a bank account. Be careful with what banks you choose. You know, get a um, you know, not a bank. Get a credit union. You know, put the money in a, uh, what they say, like an escrow account. I don't really, I don't know so much about banks here, but somewhere that that money is going to be safe. Still treat that child. Let that child know you did an amazing job. And I just want to treat you. Ask the child. Don't just be like, okay, I'm about to just buy you this. No, you made $5,000. Where do you want to go this weekend? I want to go to Disneyland. We're going to go to Disneyland. Be responsible. You ain't going to cash out the whole 5000 You know, take a 1000 take the child. And they're going to keep on working. That's what's going to motivate that child to say, I got to work. Like, whether you're a child or not, when you get older, if you don't work, you don't eat. We still have to work. So it's better to go ahead and get that mentality now. This helps to stay out of the social media, to stay out of any school drama and all of those other things, to just stay focused. This is a great opportunity. And Alexis loves you. Bye.